What's up, gang? It's Golden Gun, and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. In today's video, I put down the Chicago Bulls um, gear, and I picked up the Lakers gear. I know a lot of you guys have been asking if I live in Chicago or if my favorite team is the Chicago Bulls because you guys see me wear a lot of Chicago Bulls apparel. Well, no, I do not um, live in Chicago. And no, my favorite NBA team is not the Bulls. My favorite team is the Lakers. Go Lakers. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. We also got Alliance War Season 47, War Number 3. For you guys, I am Path 9 for Section 1 and Section 2. So I'm going to bring you the, uh, the gameplay of that, some commentary. And then, of course, we'll give you guys the results of the war. Um... Before I get into that, I wanted to take a second to say, um, if you're new to the channel, if you could please leave a subscribe with the notification bell set to all. Those uh, Our next subscriber goal is 2,500 subscribers, and I definitely appreciate you guys for the subscribes. And to, and to all the new people and the OGs of the channel, if you guys could please drop a like on the video. And... Let me know if you were here. Let me know if you was in the building, as I would say, by leaving me a comment in the comment section. If you want to just say hello or comment something about the video or just whatever, comment it in the comment section. I try to reply to or react to every single comment on each video that comes in within the first 24 to 48 hours. So if you can, if you want to leave a comment, greatly appreciate it if you do. And um, try to get those comments in within the first 48 hours after the video drops. And you should expect me to react to your comment or reply to your comment. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this thing. <clears throat> we bring Angela, Valkyrie, and um, Odin. Our main runners is going to be Valkyrie and Angela for Path of... Uh, Path 9, Section 1, we got Incinerates and Poison. And with Valkyrie, we're going to not have to worry about those Incinerates nor those Poisons as long as we can man maintain a, a play style of hitting into this, uh, I believe this is a rank 4 or rank 5, um, Jessica Jones. So, once again, start out the fight, we're trying to Look for her to dash back. Usually when the defender dashes back, nine times out of ten, it's going to immediately block. I know we got um, the AI has been updated, but it's still a good eight, nine times out of ten. As long as you wait for that cue when the defender dashes back, you can dash right in and hit right into their block, as you see me doing. We're building to our special two. And once we get enough um, power to throw a special two, we'll go in, do a five hit combo into the block, and immediately throw the special two right into the block. This Jessica Jones is extremely aggressive and got me in the corner. She won't back up so that I can hit into her block, almost as, as if she knows exactly what I'm doing. And then it's hard for me to get out of the corner because if I hit her without hitting into her block, I'm going to get an incinerate or a poison on me. So. Horrible, horrible fight right here. I ended up going to the special three. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I had to go to the special three because she beat me to the special three. So I went ahead and threw it so I can get some space. Good thing um, special three puts an intimidate on the opponent. And while the opponent is intimidated, they just intimidate it. They just stand there and block and you can go and do big damage into their block. Good fight for Valkyrie. This Havoc is a big reason why I brung Angela for this um this AW. I typically don't bring her. And I also selected the Decay Mastery because she applies a lot of armor, rate, armor break debuffs, which is gonna, just in case I do do a lot, get a um, lot of debuffs on me, those debuffs, if they're damaged over time, they'll do way less damage. On top of this, Angela is SIG 180. I, I believe she's rank three, SIG 180. And she has all of Odin's uh, pre-fights. I went ahead and selected the power start one just so I can get to that uh, special one as quickly as possible and throw the armor break. I'm not sure if it really mattered running the DK this time for this exact fight right here because it doesn't seem like I'm getting anything applied to me. No incinerate debuffs, no um, poison debuffs. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing. So, but we're applying us. Uh, we're applying a slow debuff. As long as we knock him down while he has debuffs on him, then we'll apply a slow debuff. So special one and special two put debuffs on and knocks the defender down. So we're getting that slow debuff pretty much on demand. As you can see right here, ten armor breaks. And since we got the armor breaks and knocked them down, it also put a slow debuff. And once again, if, if we were suffering from any damaging debuffs then those damaging debuffs would be doing a lot less damage because of the decay um tactic that we selected but good fight angela of course angela also has that um parry non-contact so she can parry havoc pretty easily and just made it a straightforward fight and then the way they lined this path up it was almost like they wanted uh, someone to bring an Angela to tackle it because we got another um, champion that does non-contact energy damage on their basic attacks in Shuri. So Angela's going to be able to parry Shuri. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but here we go. Shuri is par uh, it's parryable. You are able to parry Shuri if you have the right champ to do so. And once again, champ like Angela. Angela can parry non-contact attacks. So, um, Shuri is parryable. Just like a normal fight. Um, this is the, um, the shock and bleed. And as you guys can see, the bleed... We're in bleed right now. As those damage over time debuffs are popping up on Angela due to the SIG, due to um, the pre-fights from um, Odin, and due to the Decay Master and the Decay Tactic, those debuffs are, are applying onto Angela and then immediately dissipate. So you can barely even see that we're getting debuffs on us because they're, um, they're expiring so quick. So, another easy fight. The only real difficult part to this fight was um, the the node has a um, power to focus. And, no, just a power to focus. So, just like seven hits pushes the defender to a special two. This is a rank three seven star Sherry. So, I'm more typically used to trying to make um, Shuri for her special one. I don't see Shuri special two too often, but due to the no pushing her to a special two so often, I'm having trouble trying to uh, deal with how I'm going to dex it or block it. <laughs> but as the fight went on, I kind of got used to what I was going to do. If I was just going to block it, if I was going to try to parry it, if I was going to try to dex it. And that was for that to be a rank three seven star Shuri versus a rank three six star Angela, a pretty easy, simple fight. For here, we got spot. This spot is, I think, rank four. And I know you guys might might think that I might want to use Valkyrie for this fight, but no. Because Valkyrie needs to hit into the block, and hitting into spots block is no bueno. It's going to make him go invisible. So we decided to go with Angela right here um, and, and just work our way around when he goes untouchable. Try not to get him to go untouchable too many times. So in a perfect scenario for me, one untouchable cycle for Spot and then get the fight over before he gets to any more untouchables. As you can see, he goes untouchable right there. I dex out of it, and then I just um, block. Also, this node has a, um, if you if you uh, try to do damage to the defender while it's stunned, then you get damage done back to you. So I'm trying not to parry and, and do any damage after parry. Pretty straightforward fight other than that. I'm trying to uh, keep those debuffs on them, whether through special one or special two, and uh and get them out of there ASAP as soon as possible. Because once again, I don't want to deal with him being untouchable too many times. Because the more time, the more chances he got to go untouchable, the more chances I got of actually losing this fight. So once again, try not to parry. Um, bait his um, heavy attack and then when he throws his heavy attack punish it. A little bit of assassins right there. Got him under 5% and that special one got him out of there. GG's Angela. Since we're um, doing pretty good, I decided to give you guys an extra three bonus fights. So we got three fights left in, our, in this AW video 
And then the next fight, we got Doom. This Doom is sitting on a hazard ship and center it shot. So we can bring Valkyrie back into this fight and then just um, go with the same um, game, game, game plan as when we used her on Path um, 9. We're just going to be hitting into Doom's block. Throughout this fight, I'll try, I'll try to keep up here so I can catch the exact moment to explain exactly what happened. This is one of those little niche things to do that you tend to forget because it doesn't really come into play too often, you know? So, of course, I have a Brink 5 Ascended Doom um, 6 star. He is my favorite uh, Mystic Champion in the game. Shout out to Abs, man, but Doom still is number one Mystic in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys won't agree, but he is. But this is the part right here. I'm nullifying my buffs because he has his, his aura up from the special one. So Doom throws his special one, he gets an aura, and then that aura, if you hit into his block, it nullifies whatever buffs you have and um, re replaces those buffs with a shock. So I had Shuri pretty much ramped up at the beginning of the fight, and then he threw his special one, and then I went hitting into his block, and it nullified all my Pierce buffs and things like that. So we had to pretty much, we ramped her up, we lost her ramp up, and then we had to ramp her up all over again. Just remembering that if he throws his special one, to just wait for that aura, that aura to, um, to expire, and then, as you see, go right back into hitting into his block. Four hit combos into the block. Once you reach two bars of um, power, then you want to do a five hit combo into the block and immediately throw that special two. Here we go right here. Go back. One, two, three, four, five. Got a fury buff for that. Do the special two dead into the block, and we did some pretty big damage. This is a rank four um, ascended. Um, Valkyrie, I believe she's sick 200. If not, then she's like definitely 180, something like that. So, not the hugest damage. Of course, we'll be doing a little bit more damage if we were able to uh, <laughs> do something other than just hit into his block. But due to the um, incinerates and the, um, the shocks that we get for hitting him. We gotta stick to just hitting into his block. Someone asked me how to use Valkyrie. I told him I was doing a video <laughs> today and I would try to explain at least how I use Valkyrie for the most part because mostly I only use her in AW. So if you haven't caught that by now, I believe we'll be using yeah, we'll be using Valkyrie again in this next fight. Pretty um we caught a break here. This is only a rank three, six star um Mangog. So this might have been an even longer fight. <laughs> well, not might have been. It would have been an even longer fight if I um if if they would have placed a rank five, a six star Mangog, or maybe a rank two, seven star Mangog. But regardless of what it was, I would have tried to tackle it with um, Valkyrie. Anyway. Good thing about this fight is I could actually hit into him. I don't have to hit into his block all the time, but hitting into his block kind of um, keeps him from gaining all the power as quickly as he does. This node is um, special. It's not spe uh, power two focus, but it's um, when he throws a special two, the first um, the first hit of his special two cannot be blocked, and he is more susceptible. So. He, he's supposedly supposed to be more um, more tricky more trigger happy to throw the special two than the special one um, Valkyrie has enough hits on her combo if you guys don't know Valkyrie ignores unstoppable you'll still see the unstoppable uh, buff on whatever champion it is but she ignores it as, as if there is no unstoppable buff so that's how I was able to hit into um my man dog, even though he was um, unstoppable. We're gonna have to deal with an L2 here. We just dex the first hit, basically. Uh, got a parry in and then dex the last hit of that. So we were able to skip through that. But typically, I, I don't like him throwing special twos. I try to get him to throw special ones. But good job, Valkyrie. She took that man dog down. And so far, we have not lost, not one time in this, in this AW. We are 
potentially going to put together a deathless war. We got uh, Fultron here. I can't remember the um the nose she has on her, but we're just we're just going with it like a regular Fulton fight. Of course, we can hit into Fulton. We don't have to do all just blocks, but typically I stick to it. Stick to the uh, the block. I could do a medium uh, uh, five hit combo ending with a light, do all that good stuff, but I'm just trying to stick to what I know best. And once again, I'm just hitting into her block. Four hit combos into her block until I reach two bars of power. Once I reach two bars of power, then I'll do a five hit combo into her block and immediately throw the special two into the block. For those who were asking me how to use Valkyrie, how I use Valkyrie. Um, when she's in her, when uh, Photon's in her pure light form, I try not to have her throw special one. I try to, um, just buy time until that pure light expires and then have her throw a special one. If the pure light comes and she's under a bar of power, then I just try to make sure not to push her to that bar of power until her, her pure, pure light form is gone. From there, we, of course, you just seen we did five hit combo into the block, got the uh, Fury buff, and waiting for her to stand still so I can go and do a bigger chunk of damage through her block. She doesn't have pure light form, so I'll be able to dex or block that whole special one. Perfect. And then it's right back to hitting into her block. Once again, the cue that I look for when when I'm using Valkyrie is I look for the defender to dash back. Usually when the defender dash back, just like um, Photon just did, that's when I rush in to hit into whatever the defender, whoever the defender is, um, block. Wait for that pure light to expire. Good job. Now we can dex this special one. Good thing we're not on path nine right now because she would probably have me cornered. But we not. <laughs> all the all the suppression kept me from reaching the special one. So I'm at the special two. So I had to go with back to back special ones, I think. Or did we just finish her off with a basic attack? Okay, finished her off with a basic attack. That's going to wrap it up for this path. I think we took seven or eight fights, zero deaths. Big shout out to uh, Valkyrie and um, Angela. They, they they were some warriors, man. It was ladies. It was the ladies uh, war this time. And there goes the results of the war. Um, we both, both battle, both um, alliances got the bosses down. We both finished with 100%. We beat them in attack by like 10 13 points we beat them in defenders um kills and we beat them in uh fight duration and i want to give a, a special shout out to the mvps of this war as soon as we can scroll down here we got mvp number one mr sinister good job we got mvp number two eternal immortal good job and we got mvp number three sartarian good job fellas that's gonna wrap it up for this video you guys take care. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.